Hey folks, uh, this lesson is called prime factorization. So you've probably done some of this. Do you guys remember what a prime number is? We'll talk about that. So here's our common core strand for our teachers. We're right and evaluate numerical expressions uh, involving whole number exponents. Okay, so and then so our question here is uh, how do we write the prime factorization of a number? We're going to show you a couple of different methods here. So one of them you might have done before, factor trees. Do you guys remember factor trees? We'll talk about that. And there's another one that's called a ladder diagram. And we'll talk about that to get the prime factorization. Okay, so whole numbers that are multiplied to find a product are called the factors of that product. So a number is divisible by its factors. I know what you're thinking. What does that mean? Well, here's an example, you guys. So 4 and 2 are both factors of 8 because 4 times 2 equals 8. And 8 is divisible by 4 and 2. Okay, so if 8 is divisible by these numbers, then these numbers are called factors of that uh, that 8 right there. Okay, that's all that's saying right there. So here we go. Andy wants to build a rectangular garden in an area uh, of 24 square feet. So what are the possible whole number lengths and widths of that garden? Okay, so recall area of a rectangle, you guys, is length times width. So for Andy's garden, we're going to be multiplying what two numbers will get us 24 feet squared okay so we're just thinking about multiplying so list all the factors of 24 in pairs and list each pair only once so here's all the different ways we can multiply to get 24 1 times 24 2 times 12 3 times 8 that one's commonly uh, forgotten and then 4 times 6 right there okay 4 times 6 is the same as 6 times 4 so it said um, uh, list each pair only once so this would be listing the same pair right there so so there they are right there so we can also use uh, the diagram like this, you guys. So, so here, uh, this number times this number is 24. These red guys are 24 when you multiply. The blue guys are 24. And then, and then these kind of goldy guys are also 4 times 6 is 24. So the factors, this way it's in order right here. The factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24 right there. Okay, let's slide that up in case you guys can't see that. Okay. So uh, the possible lengths and widths are 24 and 1, 12 and 2, 8 and 3, and 6 and 4. Okay, so give an example of a whole number that has exactly two factors. And what type of number is, uh, has exactly two factors? Okay, we said that in the beginning. Do you remember that name? It's called called prime okay so 11 is an example of a prime number it's uh, only 1 and 11 uh, are prime or multiply to get uh, 11 right there so so here's the first 10 prime numbers okay 2 is the first prime number often people think 1 is but 1 is only 1 times 1 now there's only one factor of 1 Prime numbers always have two factors only. So 1 times 2 or 1 times 3 or 1 times any of these numbers, it's prime, okay? 1 times 29 is the only way to get 29. There's infinitely many prime numbers. I sometimes list uh, the first all the way up to 100 in my algebra classes. So list all the factors of each number. Okay, so, so what times what equals 21? Well, 1 times 21 and then 3 times 7. So all the factors are 1, 3, 7, and 20. Okay, 37 is only 37 times 1. It's prime. So the factors of 37 are just 1 and 37. 42 has a lot. 1 times 42, since it's even, 2 goes into it. So what's half of 42? Well, 21. 2 times 21. Since 4 plus 2 equals 6 and 3 goes into 6, then 3 goes into 42. It's 14 times, and then you guys probably know uh, 6 times 7, okay? So here's all the ways to get 42. So here's the factors of 42. These are all the numbers that go into 42 evenly. Okay, 30. 1 times 30, 2 times what? 2 times 15, does 3 go into that? 3 times 10, and finally 5 times 6. Okay, so all the factors of 30 are all of those numbers. Those go all into 30 right there. All right, so finding prime factorizations of a number. So the prime factorization of a number is the number written as the product of its prime factors only. So for example, the prime factors of 12 are 2, another 2, and 3. So if you, this is called a factor tree. Have you seen a factor tree before? Uh, 12 is 2 times 6, and since 6 can be broken down into some more numbers, 6 breaks down to 2 times two, 3. So 12 is um, 2 times 2 times 3. So there's several different ways to write the prime factorization. 
Here we can write it with um, the x uh, in between them, which means multiply. Here we can write it with these dots in between. These dots means multiply or times right here. And then here, remember the last lesson, when we have a repeated factor, we can use it as an exponent and short shortcut it so we can write it as 2 squared because there's two twos times 3 right there. And this is how we're going to write it in this lesson. If we can use exponents, we will. Okay. So list the factor pairs of 240 right there. Okay. And we're going to use uh, uh, the factor tree to find the prime factorization of 240. All right. All right. So this one, there's a lot of factors of 240. One goes into 242 does. I'm just going to shortcut it right here. And sorry, you guys, all that these are 1 times 240, 2 times 120, 3 times 80. You know, think of that zero not there. 3 goes into 24 8 times, so add the zero, 80. 4 goes into 24 6 times, so add the zero. Well, we know 5 goes into it because it ends in zero, so 5 times 48, and there's all the factors of that right there. So this one here says 48 right here, so we're going to start with this pair right here. You can start with any pair um, and then keep breaking it down right here, okay? So we're going to choose any factor pair to begin our factor tree. So we're going to start with this factor pair right there. And if a number is prime, 5 is prime, then we're going to circle it. So I'm going to circle 5 right here, okay? And then, um, and then this 48 uh, is going to be continued to be broken down right there, okay? So 5 times 48 is 240, and then we circled 5 because it was prime. 48 is not. It can be broken down. So 48 breaks down to 2 times 24, and 2 is prime. 24 breaks down to 2 goes into 24 12 times, and then 12 breaks down to 2 times 6, and then 6 breaks down to 2 times 3. And the advantage of circling these as we do that is these are the prime numbers. Here's our prime factorization right there. So let's go ahead and write the prime factorization. Let's write them in order. So I'm going to write these twos, there's four of them, then we'll write the three and write the five, okay? And then we'll use it uh, doing exponents, okay? So since there's four twos, we're going to say two to the fourth times three times five, okay? All right. Okay, so what will the factor tree uh, uh, for 240 look like if we start with a different pair of factors and check by creating another factor tree? Okay, since uh, 240 ends in a zero, then I know 10 goes into it. So 10 times uh, take off the zero is 24. So there's 10 times 24. Now, neither of those are prime, so let's break down 24. I think I did 4 times 6, I think. And that's 2 times 5, so we'll circle the 2 and the 5 because they're prime, yeah. Okay, and then 4 is 2 times 2, circle, circle. 6 is 2 times 3, circle, circle. So there it is right there. So there it is. So there's our prime factorization. Now all those four twos, that 3 and that 5. Okay, so what will the factor tree look like? Well, it's going to look a little different depending on what you do. And then uh, check by creating another factor tree. So uh, the intermediate steps on the factor tree are different, but the final prime factorization is going to be the same answer no matter which way you guys go. So, so Johnny could do it this way. Susie could do it the way we did on the previous slides, you guys. So, uh, but you should get to the same answer. So uh, these are kind of fun to do in class because there's several different ways right here. Okay, here's a different way. It's called a ladder diagram. So we're going to find the prime factorization of 140, and we're going to choose a prime number of 140 and then continue dividing by prime factors until the quotient is 1. So here's what this, we're going to go ahead and start, okay? So 140 is divisible by 2 because 140 is even. So here's how a factor tree starts looking like right there, okay? So, um, did I say factor tree? A ladder diagram looks like, you guys. So, so 140 goes in here, and then we divide 140 divided by 2 gives us this 70. So that's why 70 goes right there. And out here are all the prime factors right here, okay? All right, so, so um, uh, think of this. 70 divided by um, what number is going to give us 10 right there? 70 divided by, and think of a prime number, 7, okay, gives us that 10 right there, okay? And then, and then 10 divided by what number will give us this 2 right there, okay? 10 divided by, um, uh, 10 divided by 5 gives us that 2. And then uh, we're going to go um, uh, 2 divided by what gives us this 1 right there. 2 divided by 2 gives us that 1 right there. So here's the prime factorization of 140. And so when we write it in order, 
2 times 2 times 5 times 7, or 2 squared times 5 times 7. All right, let's do the same thing. We're going to use the same number, except we're going to do the divisibility rule by 5. Okay, I'm going to do it uh, step by step on this. Okay, so since the last digit is 0, we know 5 goes into 140. So let's go ahead and divide 140 divided by 5. Okay, 140 divided by 5. I'll show you it's called um, the distributive property. So we're going to distribute 5 into 100 and 5 into 40 because 100 plus 40 is 140 okay so if you can't think of that we can do it this way okay so so distribute that division 5 through so 100 goes into 5 20 times and 100 goes into 40 8 times so 28 when we add those together is going to go right here okay all right so now we're going to take uh, 28 and divide it by 2. So 28 divided by 2 is going to give us 14. Notice this is prime right there, okay? So that's going to give us um, uh, 28. I'll do it again, you guys. Well, we know 28 divided by 2 is 14, but here's uh, the distributive property. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 plus 4 gives us that 14 right there, okay? And then 14, we're going to divide 14 divided by something to give us 2, all right? 14 divided by 7 will give us 2 right there, okay? And then finally, 2 divided by 2 is going to give us that 1 right there, okay? So I like doing this. 140 divided by that is that. And then this number divided by whatever you place there, whatever prime number, is going to give us this number. And then take that number, divide it by another prime number, is going to give us this number. Divided by another prime number is going to give us till we get to 1, and when we get to 1, we're done. And then these are our prime factors right here. So here's both ways right there. So let's put the prime factorization from least to greatest. Well, this has two twos, a 5 and a 7. This has two twos, a five and a seven. Remember, one is not prime, so so they both give us two squared times five times seven. Okay, excuse me. So uh, complete a factor tree in a ladder diagram to find the prime factorization of 54. Okay, so here's a ladder diagram for 54. 54 divided by two is 27. 27 divided by three, three is prime, is nine. Nine divided by three, is uh, 3 and then 3 divided by 3 again is 1 so here's the prime factorization of 54 here's a, um, uh, a factor tree okay we got 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 okay so the prime factorization is 2 times 3 to the third power right there. All right, if one person uses a ladder diagram and another person uses factor trees to write the prime factorization, are they going to get the same result? Well, if they do it correctly, they should. There is only one unique prime factorization for every integer that's greater than 1. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.